Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have an adapter Prime HS. It's a uh, TS007 British Standard three star lock. It's um, supposedly, you know, not bad security, three star lock. It does only have five pins, so, but not a bad bitting if you look there. Some very, very low cuts there, signifying super long key pins, maybe zero lift, I'm not entirely sure. Um, now, my my problem with this lock is, can you hear, listen? I don't really hear that. That it's you, Can you hear this notchy and sticky? Can you see how I'm trying to turn it and it's notchy? Very horrible feeling on the inside of this. And when I try to tension it, look, the front chipped off. And also, I don't know what this is here. Well, I know it's anti-drill, but um, they sort of stick out. I don't know. It feels like it's good quality. It's got a nice weight to it, but it just, when you put the key in and play around with it, ugh, just, I don't know why. It's not very not very good at all. Anyway, um, it does have, however, look, grub screws on the bottom, so we can quickly gut this, which I think is really awesome. And this Euro was only 20 pounds. And I would say that um, this side picks a lot nicer and smoother. For 20 pounds, you could, couldn't go too far wrong with this really for a repinnable dimple lock you know at least you can progressively pin it have a play around with it take out some of the um, security pins from this side put some more on this side put some standard pins and whatever you want to do really I think that this isn't a particularly good lock in terms of would I put it on my front door probably not but for a lock sporter pretty good right anyway let's throw this in a vise have a pick and we'll unscrew it and have a look at what pins it's got instantly afterwards so this horrible notchy side is unfortunately the external side. Now I think the ugh, the pinning is the same either side, so it, it shouldn't really matter. But because it is technically the external side, that's the one we'll pick. Um, I'll just pop in some tension. I'll move myself around a bit, and it's got a lot of slop in this core. Using just a uh, modified Chinese dimple flag. It's going to go through a uh, pin five's binding and into a full set. Going back through, I can feel pin four, I think, here. Stay on the pin and into a full set. Well, back into the full set. Pin three now into that full set, and we're open. There you go. Um, well, wasn't that fun? Not really. Uh, but we have the open. Didn't last very long. Five pins. Some really deep spools, that is a good thing, but I think we just need to quickly gut this lock. So let's have a go at doing that. I'll be as quick as I can. Um, wow, that really doesn't like to be turned. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It's really notchy and gross. Uh, if anybody's ever had one of these, is this an anomaly or is this how they sort of are? I really want to know because um, I'm, I'm not particularly pleased with whatever the one I got, that's for sure. This is pin one, looks like a steel spring. Um, oh, interesting, a little multi-spool, we'll come on to that. Seems to be steel as well. Uh, might need to get a key and wiggle this. There we go, there's a key pin. Typical dimple key pin, thinner on one side, so it's, uh, it doesn't come out of the or fall into the keyway, which is good. Two is standard. I can move these a bit later. Come here, you. All right, next one. This makes gutting this lock so much easier. Like, so much easier. It's crazy. I love it. Ooh, lovely spool. Quite a nice uh, spool, that one. And another key pin. Yeah, I mean, I really would recommend this for learning dimple locks. I think it's uh, probably one of the best value practice dimple locks out there. It's, it's built well enough, at least on one side, I found uh, that the fact that the other side is a bit notchy doesn't really matter. Okay, right, so that's all six pins. Put that there. I'll zoom in I just want to uh, grab my tweezers which I did have here they are and just tidy all those pins up for you 
So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, all those seem fine to me too. Excellent, okay. So let's bring that up to the camera. And you can see what we have here. So um, it's, it's quite a nice range of pins. We have a steel sort of multi-spool pin, which is really nice. We have a standard in two. Unfortunately, I didn't have to pick pin one and two. These are basically zero lift pins. And then we got uh, a really nice spool. This, this is a really, really nice spool. Great lean there into uh, the full set. Some nice, relatively strong steel springs in all chambers, standard in pin uh, six. So basically what I did is I picked that, fell into a full set, picked this, picked that, and we fell open. So really didn't take long, did it? But nevertheless, you could mess around with the bitting of these. Um, you could take some of the pins out to the other side and, uh, you know, make different bittings again with that. I think whilst this isn't a, a fantastic um, lock in terms of pickability, security, it is, like I said, really cool that it's got grub screws and you can just open it up, mess around, progressively pin, repin, whatever you like to do. So yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. If you've got any comments, leave them below. I do read them all, reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because it really helps my channel out. And of course, I will see you all next time.